Japanese team of Riku Mura and Ruichi Kihara got that Midas touch for gold yet again. Silver goes to the United States of America's Emily Chan and Spencer Akira Howe. And bronze will go to Brooke McIntosh and Benjamin Mimar of Canada. Not a whole lot of twists and turns in this pair's event. Each team holding their podium positions from the short all the way into the free. And of course, the Japanese team of Mira and Kihara take the gold in a big way. They start off their NHK with a PB in the short program, 78.25, crushing their previous by five points. Huge reaction from Riku, seemingly always surprised by their own brilliance. Like, yeah girl, yeah good. Gold was theirs to lose in the free. The triple toe, double toe, double toe combo, not effortless, but an improvement from Skate Canada. Other small mistakes like the touchdown on that throw, triple lutz, and a missed choreographed lift in the middle speckled this otherwise strong skate. Their speed and aggression is coupled effortlessly with thoughtful choreography and delicate skating. It's good enough for a 137.91, almost identical to their Skate Canada score, leading to a new PB in their total score of 216.16. And of course, their reaction gives us everything and more. The champions. <laughs> Big congratulations to Emily Chan and Spencer Akira Howe for their second silver medal of this Grand Prix season. Improving on Skate Canada, really loved that last position in the reverse lasso lift. Emily has exquisite extension. They have such a great connection for being together for such a short amount of time. But they will definitely need to improve in areas like their speed, consistency, and making that twist bigger and cleaner. But a pair free skate score of 120 plus is exactly where a team of this caliber wants to be, especially as they head into the Grand Prix final. But big story here, especially for Canadian fans, Benjamin Mimar and Brooke McIntosh take home their first ever Grand Prix medal. New young Canadian team, McIntosh is just 17 and Mimar is 21. They began skating together in 2020, making their partnership official just days before the pandemic shut down everything. So a lot of virtual training and team building for these two, but whatever they did, it is paying off. Gorgeous elements like this throw a triple flip highlight this free. For a new team with minimal mileage, it is very easy to shy away from complex choreography and transitions to focus on executing your elements nicely and cleanly, but not these two. Making great use of transitions and commitment to expression to enhance the elements and program. For example, I love that choreo break in the midpoint where she does a standstill spiral and their exit of their final lift. They also commit completely to the Les Miserables character. Their bronze in Japan and a fourth at Skate Canada won't be enough to get them to the Grand Prix final, but expect to see these two on more podiums in the future. I know you love that video, so subscribe so you don't miss any more, and you're sitting here anyways, watch some more.